In birdsong, dialects are distinct song variants within a species, specific to particular regions. Generally, we assume that these regional dialects remain stable, are distinct between regions, and persist within those populations. White-throated sparrows are most commonly known for their oh sweet Canada 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 song, known as triplet ending song, for the triplet beat of the final notes. This was the common song variant in the 1960s. However, sometime between the 1960s and the year 2000, a second song variant popped up west of the Rocky Mountains. This variant is known as doublet ending song, again for the doublet beat of the final notes. Prior to 2000, doublet ending songs were rare, but over the years as we surveyed and collected songs through citizen science projects, they became more and more common and spread across the continent of North America. By 2015, all songs recorded west of central Ontario were doublet ending, and by 2019, the doublet ending songs had reached well into western Quebec. This is over 3,000 kilometers from central British Columbia where the doublet ending songs first established. Within the regions where the doublet ending songs variant spread, it also completely replaced the triplet ending song in the process. And this change occurred over less than 20 years, which is an unprecedented rate of song transition. To explore how this swift transition could have occurred, we placed geolocators on male white-throated sparrows breeding in Prince George, British Columbia. Geolocators record ambient light levels, which when recovered can be used to calculate where the birds traveled on their migration. The recovered geolocators revealed that birds breeding west of the Rockies overwinter in either coastal California or in eastern Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Kansas. We know that males often sing on the wintering grounds, and the fact that western males singing doublet ending songs overwinter near eastern males suggests that winter tutoring may be a mechanism for the rapid eastward spread of doublet ending songs. This still leaves the question of why males adopted the novel song variant. Uh, hypothesis developed by Dr. Jill Trainer, the indirect bias transmission hypothesis suggests that in some species, females may habituate to the common songs over time, and that drives the males to adopt novel songs to maintain females' interests. If such a response occurs in white-throated sparrows, it could explain the rapid spread of the doublet ending song. Female response to doublet versus triplet ending songs awaits further testing. But if this is indeed the mechanism driving song variation, we would predict that if new song variants appear within populations, they may be adopted and spread quickly. Interestingly, we're currently tracking yet another novel song variant, a modulated doublet, where the first note of the repeating element has a pronounced amplitude modulation. This variant has recently emerged and is rapidly spreading in a population west of the Rocky Mountains.